How to build and deploy a Laravel application using Jenkins. Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.346.1. And attached to this controller, I have a Linux-based agent that has Docker and the Heroku CLI installed. Down in the description of this video is a link to our sample repository. And let's go ahead and take a look at that repository. This is a very basic Laravel application. It was created using Composer Create-Project. To this project, I've added two new files. I've added a Jenkins file and I've added a Docker file. So if we take a look at the Docker file, it is a multi-stage Docker file and we're gonna use Composer to get everything installed. And then for actual runtime image, we're gonna be using PHP 8.1.8. Let's go take a look over at our Jenkins file. And in our Jenkins file, what we have is a fairly straightforward declarative pipeline. Our runtime for this application is gonna be using Heroku. So within our environment block, we have a Heroku API key, which we're gonna be filling in with a credential named Heroku API key. We'll get to that in a few moments. We have our image name and image tag. We're just setting the values there. And then we're setting the application name that will be within Heroku. The basics of the pipeline are Docker build. Then we're gonna log into the registry at Heroku. We're gonna push our image up to the Heroku registry. And then we're going to deploy that image by using container colon release. And then finally, we log out. So before we go on any further, let's go ahead and go create our application over in Heroku. Now I could use the CLI to do this, but I'm just gonna do it manually so I know that it exists before we run our code. So if we click on Heroku, make sure I'm still logged in. I am, let's create a new application. I'm going to give it a name, Jenkins Example Laravel, and click on Create App. And that's all that I need to do. Now remember, taking a look back over to our Jenkins file, we need to create a credential for Heroku API key. So let's go ahead and start setting up this credential. So we'll go back over to our controller. Let's click on Manage Credentials. Let's create a new secret text credential. We select secret text. The ID is gonna be Heroku API key. We'll set the description to the same value, but now let's go over and get the API key itself. And the way that we do that, we'll go up into the upper right-hand corner, go under my profile, click on account settings. Let's scroll down to the API key section. We'll click on reveal and we'll copy this API key. So we'll copy the whole thing here. Let's go back over to our controller and add in the value into secret. And let's click on create. So we have our repository set up. We have our application set up at Heroku. We have the credential set up within our controller. So let's go ahead and set up a job. So before we set up the job, let's go ahead and let's copy our line here. So we'll click on code, click on HTTPS. We'll copy that. Let's go back over to our dashboard, say new item. Let's say Jenkins example Laravel, click on pipeline, click on OK. Let's go to pipeline script from SEM. We'll set our SEM to get. We'll paste in the URL. We'll change our branch down to main and we'll verify that our script path is Jenkins file. Let's go ahead and click on save and let's click on build now. So our job completes. Let's go back over to Heroku and let's get the URL that we have for our application. So let's click on our application. We'll go to settings. If we scroll down, your app can be found at this. So let's go ahead and right click that, open in a new tab. And what you're going to see is, is we're getting a server error, specifically a 500. Now, in order to debug this, we need to set an environment variable. And this time what I'm going to use is a shell. I'm going to use the CLI to set app debug equal to true and on this application. So we'll hit enter. And now we have app debug turned on. Let's go back over and hit refresh on the same page. Now it may take a moment because when we set up the environment variable, it had to reboot. Now that it's rebooted, we can see that there's no application encryption key specified. So with Laravel, we have to specify an application key. If we were running locally, that would be within our env file, but we don't have an env file within Heroku, so we need to set an environment variable with our encryption key. So how do we create that key? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back over to our shell and we're going to run the following command, php artisan key colon generate and then dash dash show. If we leave the dash dash show off, then what's gonna happen is it's gonna write it to the env file for us. We don't want that, we just need a value. So we'll hit enter and we'll copy this base64 and this is the value that we're going to use in our environment variable. So let's set this up. So we're gonna say Heroku 
config colon set, and we're going to use app underscore key is the environment variable that Laravel is expecting. I'm going to copy and paste in our base64 all the way through the equal sign, paste that over here. Whoops, too much. And then finally, what I need to do is I need to specify our application, which is Jenkins example Laravel. So we'll specify this, and we can see it's setting the key and then restarting the application. We'll give it just a couple of moments. We'll come back over into our browser. We'll hit refresh. I may be a little bit early, so let's give it just a moment longer to run. Now that we've refreshed it, we get the Laravel Hello World page effectively from the application. And at this point, we've proven out that we can create a Laravel application, put it into GitHub, run our Jenkins job against that repository, have it create the image, push it up to the Heroku registry, and have the application run. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on the subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.